Mama. Everyone knows that song, right? So I was hanging out with my mom this weekend and my mom is a wild 70s hippie child. And we always grew up with Queen and Led Zeppelin jamming out in our house. There was always music playing and it always felt like a rock concert when I was growing up. And so I didn't grow up around country or classical. I grew up in a rock based house. And so Queen is like a part of my life and Bohemian Rhapsody has always been so special to my mom and I. Um, ever since I was a little kid, she would always play Bohemian Rhapsody in the Car and we would sing and scream at the top of our lungs. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. It's always been so special to us. And so recently we went to the movies to see Bohemian Rhapsody. And I always told my mom, mom, at your funeral, I'm gonna play Bohemian Rhapsody in honor of your memory. Because this song, it, it reminds me so much of you and my childhood and, and we have so many good memories to it. And I want your life to be a party, a celebration. In 2010, I actually had them play Bohemian Rhapsody at my wedding, so my mom and I could dance to it and scream at the top of our lungs, and I have some great pictures from that. So Bohemian Rhapsody's been a pretty big integral part of our life growing up, but it wasn't until 2012 that it completely changed my life. In 2012, Bohemian Rhapsody changed everything because my mom had a massive stroke that paralyzed her. She could no longer speak, move, do anything. She was stuck in ICU with 106 degree fever and a swollen brain and they said that she's not gonna make it and at that time I had a client reach out and say you know my brother had a stroke and music really helped him and it just gave me hope because I knew mom's love language was music so I thought well I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and play her music so I walked into the ICU room just me and YouTube and I turned on Bohemian Rhapsody and in that moment she cried and I pointed to her and I said you're still in there and that was the first moment ever in my life that I had real hope or faith that she could survive, that miracles were possible. That moment of experience playing Bohemian Rhapsody and seeing the tears stream down changed my life forever. So now every time I hear the song Bohemian Rhapsody, I think of perseverance. I think of what it takes to have faith, to be courageous, to go after what you think is impossible. I had enough hope and enough faith that my mom would survive and I truly believe that love and Bohemian Rhapsody saved my mom. So I just wanted to share that story with you that if you're going through something hard, just turn on Bohemian Rhapsody, it makes everything better. No, if you're going through something hard, there's always going to be a sign that gives you just, they say a mustard seed of faith is enough to move mountains. So if you're in a dark time in your life right now, look for that silver lining, look for that tiny little mustard seed that contains faith in it and that will get you through it. So if you haven't seen Bohemian Rhapsody yet, you have to check out this movie. It's inspiring, it's amazing, and I hope that this story reminds you every time you hear Bohemian Rhapsody, you think of how powerful and courageous my mom was overcoming her stroke because today, six years later, she's walking, talking, and fully thriving, as long as it's not a full moon because for some reason the full moons totally throw her off. <laughs> So thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, if you were inspired, please hit the like button, tag a friend, share it, whatever you gotta do to spread the good vibes, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.